Tukey's HSD procedure, also called the Tukey test. The HSD stands for Honestly Significant Difference. It is the most sincere of the post hoc tests. What this thing does is it compares the group means from your ANOVA table to see if they're significantly far enough apart, right? How significant is significant? That's what the Tukey's test does. So to find the D Tukey, you have to find the standard error from of the mean from your ANOVA table, and there's going to be a new test statistic called Q sub A, and with new test statistics comes a new critical value table from the back of the book, and this is what it looks like. And there'll be a brief example here coming up shortly. And there's also a new formula to, to calculate the D sub 2 key. There it is. Remember, Q sub A is the new test statistic that we're going to have to pull out of a table. This table. And it's the same over here. And then the S sub M means the standard error of the mean. And if you recall, the standard error of the mean is your within group mean squares. So there's a, both values we can look up. So let's go ahead and do a quick example. We're going to take the data from our super rats. I suggest you watch those other movies. There's the data. We're just going to take the group means from there, and there they are. I'll list them out for you here shortly. So the number of groups we have is five. All right, to calculate Q sub A, we need the degrees of freedom from our within group. From our ANOVA table, the one we calculated with the rat stuff, was 20. Okay, so now we know the degrees of freedom. Last thing we need to do is decide what our alpha level is going to be. That FW means family-wise alpha level. Normally it's 0.05. Therefore, to calculate Q sub A, we go to the table. There's the table. We find our, make sure we're on the right page, 0.05 for alpha. We find the top row up here does the number of groups, and the vertical row does the degrees of freedom. So we go to the degree of freedom row 20, where it intersects with column 5. That's our number. It's hard to see, but that's it, 4.23. So we got the first test statistic. Now we have to figure out what the standard error of the mean was from our ANOVA table. Just take a quick peek. Boom, it was 14.38. Plug it in. N is the number of groups. And we have five. Do a little bit of math, and we get the standard error of the mean. So we got the numbers. Plug them back into the formula. Do a little bit of math, so we get 7.174. So that difference is your marker. If, if any of the mean differences between any groups is greater than 7.174, that means that they're going to be significantly different. Again, if, if the mean difference between the groups is larger than 7.174, then we say we have a significant difference. That's what the Tukey test does. So we're going to pull up the means from our original data. There they are. Pop, 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 pop. And we're going to make a data, or I'm sorry, mean table, compare them. Example, if we want this one, that would be A2 being compared to A1. So what we would do is we would subtract the differences there and just use the absolute value. And we went ahead and did them all. So any of these means that is greater than 7.174 is significant. So we did A3, right? That is A3 times A1. So you just subtract those two, and that's what that is. And we just completed the table for you. So you'll notice that practically every one of these is greater than 7.174, except for one. So in conclusion, that means that the pairs of means were all significantly different, except for the means of group 4 and 5. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed it. MGZ, out.